Hey guys, John here with Stronger Runner and PodiumRunner.com and in this video I'm going to introduce to you a 9 exercise barbell workout to make you a faster and stronger runner. Alright, so we have another workout for you runners. So this workout focuses on a training method called a barbell complex. So a barbell complex is a way of doing a workout where you use one piece of equipment and you string together several exercises in a row and you do them all in a row with zero rest. Because you're using the same piece of equipment, you can actually flow from one exercise to the next. So this is kind of like circuit training in a sense that there's one exercise after the other. So you will notice sort of a spike in your heart rate when you do the complexes in the workout today. But what you'll also notice is that I'm challenging all your running specific muscles so you can feel a better transference from these workouts to your running. So when you're doing the workout today, you'll notice that there'll be no break between the exercises in the same complex. But after you finish each complex, you can take a minute rest. You'll do three to four total sets of each complex. And then what you will take is a two minute break between each complex, complex A, B, or C. There are three exercises in each complex, so let's go over them now. The first exercise in each complex focuses on quick and light feet. And what you'll notice is that there's actually a progression between exercise A1, B1, and C1, which I'll go over in this video. So the first exercise is an alternating high knee. Stand with your feet hip width apart and place the barbell across your back. Stand really tall, keep the bar in position, and bring one knee towards your chest. Keep your toe pulled up to your shin, and try not to lean over to the side as you bring your knee towards your body. Lower the leg down, and then switch sides. You'll notice that you're challenging single leg balance, and I want you to focus on keeping most of the weight through the forefoot with your heel just kind of hovering above the floor. You won't even really see this. It's just enough space so that you could slide a piece of paper under your heel. Alternate sides for 12 reps, before you go on to the next exercise. The next exercise in this complex is a reverse lunge to knee drive. So stand with your feet hip width apart with the barbell across your back, take a nice big step backwards and perform a lunge. Bring your knee to the floor, keep your torso fairly tall, and make sure you land on the base of your big toe on the back foot. You wanna focus on extending the big toe joint so that you can plant your foot properly behind you. Next, press your front leg down and push off the base of your big toe to return you to the upright position. As you go into the upright position, bring the leg that you just stepped back with, that knee, bring that knee towards your body. Again, focus on a nice tall posture. Try not to collapse to the side as you stand on one leg. Lower that leg to the floor and then take your next rep to perform another reverse lunge. Do 12 reps on this side before you switch sides and then move on to the last exercise in this complex. The last exercise in this complex is called a good morning. So this exercise focuses on training the hamstrings and the glutes to extend your hips. Stand with your feet hip width apart, soften your knees, and again, keep the bar across your upper back. Push your hips back and bend over at your hips. As your torso approaches the floor, you'll notice that your upper back and your lower back have to keep tight to maintain your spine shape. And then you'll also notice that your hamstrings get put on tension at the bottom of the movement when your chest faces the floor. Return to standing by bringing your hips forward, contract your glutes at the top of the movement, and do 12 reps. That is one round of the complex. In this workout, like I said earlier, you'll do three to four total sets with a minute break between sets. And after you finish three to four total sets, take a two minute rest and then move on to complex B. Complex B starts with a quick alternating high knee. Stand with your feet hip width apart with the barbell across your upper back again. Bring one knee towards your chest, and then simultaneously, you're going to lower the leg that you brought up and bring your other leg up at the same time. So this is a quick movement to teach your body some quickness, and again, keep most of the weight through the forefoot. Keep your body relatively still and braced. You can pull down on the bar to create a little bit of more stability through your body. You're gonna alternate sides here for 12 reps per side. The next exercise in this complex is a alternating forward lunge. So stand with your feet hip width apart with the bar across your back. 
Take a large step forward, drop into a lunge, bringing your rear knee towards the floor. Keep your torso tall. And again, notice just like in the reverse lunge, the front foot is flat, your front knee is almost at 90 degrees, and you're bending through the big toe joint with that foot behind you. This time you're gonna have to push through the front foot to return you to the upright position. You're gonna switch sides at the top and perform 12 reps per side. The last exercise in this complex is a bent over row. So we're gonna hit those upper back muscles. Pop the bar over your head and hold it in front of your thighs with your hands in a overhand position. Soften your knees, push your hips back and bend over so that your chest faces the floor. Pull the weight up towards your belly button and squeeze your shoulder blades together behind you. Carefully lower the bar, maintain this position and perform 12 reps before taking a 60 second rest. Perform three to four total sets before you move on to the last complex, complex C. And the last complex starts off with an alternating high knee triple. Stand with your feet hip width apart with the bar across your upper back again. Bring one knee towards your torso. Again, don't let your hips fall out to the side and stay really tall. This time you're gonna alternate your high knee lift for three touches. So you're gonna lower your right leg, bring up your left, lower your left and bring up your right and do it one more time so that you've touched the ground three times. You're gonna do this as fast as possible while maintaining that nice tall posture. In this workout, you'll do six alternating triples before you move on to the next exercise. The next exercise is a Romanian deadlift. So you're gonna pop the bar again over your shoulders and hold it in front of your thighs. Stand with your feet hip width apart with your knees soft. Bend over at the hips, push out your butt, and your chest will approach the floor as your hips approach a 90 degree position. Notice some tension in the hamstrings before you stand yourself back up and squeeze your glutes at the top. Do 12 reps before you move on to the last exercise. And the last exercise in this complex is a kneeling barbell rollout. This exercise will challenge your core, so grab a cushion, kneel on the floor with your barbell in front of you. It would help if you have small plates on the bar so you can roll the bar forward and back. Before doing the rollout, Tuck in your hips and expand your upper back so that you look like you're in a concave shape. Transfer your weight forward so that your hips move beyond the cushion. Your arms will then travel beyond your head and your body will approach a plank-like position with the barbell reached over your head. Notice that your abs have to maintain a strong contraction so that you can keep your hips tucked in and your upper back expanded. Use your abs to bring you back to the starting position and perform 12 reps. Perform three to four total sets and then call it a day. So there you go guys, that's the workout. I would suggest you do this workout on a non-running workout day or if you have to do this workout on a running workout day, I would focus on your running workout in the morning and then doing this in the late afternoon, early evening. Some people might find a standard barbell heavy enough for this workout. That standard barbell is gonna be about 45 pounds. If you want a little bit more of a challenge, you can add five to 10 pounds per side, but the most that I would add in this workout would be about a 25 pound plate per side, which gives you a 95 pound bar. If this is your first time seeing me, my name is John and this is my channel, Stronger Runner. We make videos to make you a faster and stronger runner. So please subscribe to our channel and also help us grow this community by sharing this video with a fellow running friend. Thanks guys, and I'll see you in the next video.